right, there we go. We'll just edit that part out. <laughs> okay, we'll just edit that part out. All right, uh, lean chicken, guys, you can either buy it in bulk and cut it, or you can um, just buy it already kind of pre-sliced like it is now. Temperature is how high? Temperature? Temperature for chicken, 300. Oh, 350 is what I was 300, saying. 350 degrees. Perfect. That's like the go-to. So we're just going to dump it into the pan. All right. To be honest. Okay. Thank you. We're going to get a good spray going in the pan. Probably should have done that beforehand. Uh, any kind of uh, non-stick guys like ham, olive oil. Well, preferably don't use olive oil if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, this won't matter because it's ham. But actually, some people use olive oil and vegetable oil. Don't do that if you're trying to lose weight. Um, if you're trying to gain weight, that's okay. But otherwise, uh, stay away from that. Good healthy fats. But yeah, if you're trying to lose weight, not the best way to go. Yeah. If uh, a lot of the time, some people they'll start losing too much weight while I have them on a program, and when yeah, then we go with healthy fat. We go like a lot of the time for every one gram of saturated fat, it'll be about 15 grams of regular fat, like okay. polysatch and all that kind of stuff, yeah. that helps you fat. Do you use coconut oil? Oh, I've heard that's really good. Uh, coconut oil you can use, however, coconut gets on really heavy on the side of the saturated fat, even if it's like oh. not as fat, so I tend to stay away from coconut. Okay. Interesting, I never knew that. A few staples, guys, of any recipe you're going to do. I'm going to do some generic chicken for you first, and then we'll get a little more complicated here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is limes. Limes add a lot of flavor. You can use this in a pot roast. You can also use it in a skillet. Uh, I'm going to cut it here. There's different ways you can cut your lime. Um, I'm just going to throw them in. Easy enough. Easy enough, right? Now what will that do? Give it some extra flavor? Oh, this will give it a lot of flavor. Yeah. It'll just, lime tastes so good with almost anything, uh, especially if you like Mexican food. I'm a big Mexican food fan. Me too, Mexican, my favorite cheat meal. Yeah. That and cheeseburger. <laughs> used to be, I, I used to eat a cheeseburger every single day. Uh, teriyaki sauce, guys, just look on the back of the label. You can see it's 15 calories, 2 grams of sugar, 2 carbs, so it's not that much. So that's okay. Um, we'll just dump some teriyaki sauce in here. Some of the sugar, guys, that's going, that's in here, uh, again, you want to keep it real low sugar, low sugar about uh, two grams of serving per, uh, yeah, about two grams of sugar per serving. But some of it's going to get cooked out while we're cooking here anyway. Onions. You like onions? I do like onions. Okay. Big fan. Right. Garlic? You like garlic? Yes. Very much yeah, so. Not a vampire. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna cut these up. We're gonna cut these up. Um, I would I would ask you to do this, but I don't want to, you know, put you at risk here. It's not like you were like super excited, right, to, to cut the. Yeah, I'm gonna cut these up. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna cut these up. Alright, so we got the Eventually, guys, you want to flip these back and forth. If you're being lazy, it's okay. If you're just, if you want to just kind of leave it, let it overcook on one side, and then it'll cook for less time on the other side when you cook chicken. That's a good, quick way to each uh, cook chicken. If you want to have a little bit better tasting chicken, then you're going to want to flip it back and forth a little more often and stir stir the ingredients in here. All right, onion. Again, you don't have to be like Bobby Flay here. You don't have to perfectly. Cut the cut into the garlic. Obviously, with the garlic, you want to peel. Actually, I'll do this for the kids. We get we got we got college and high school students, so probably do need to take a look at this real quick. See, this is the garlic, guys. Peel on the outside of garlic. It's hella cheap at like it's it's pretty cheap at Walmart and some other places. Well, any place you really buy garlic, but especially Walmart. Just grab the cloves of garlic, cut them up, throw them into your pan. That's actually good you did that because I'm not sure I would never to do that either. I don't think I've ever cut up fresh garlic. I always bought it, you know, just already in the shaker. Sure, sure. 
again. A little, a little more expensive if you're on the ramen noodle diet or on the ramen noodle budget. Yeah. Then, uh, yeah, just get, grab your garlic, cut it up, throw it in there. All right. So it's less expensive to buy this garlic? Yes. That's good to know. And it's not that hard. I'm on no. a grad school diet. Oh, grad, yeah, grad, grad school, school budget. Diet. There we go. <laughs> Trying to be healthy. Being healthy can be expensive, so it's always good to know extra tips. And, uh, yeah. And if you go to school, kids, make sure you go to grad school. Because <laughs> otherwise, yeah. Make sure you go to grad school. Well, anymore, it's getting harder and harder to get a job, even with. Right? Just a um, college education. Yeah. That's pretty tough. But I'm in school forever. I'm accumulating a ton of debt, so, you know, the better budget I can get on. That's, uh... The better it is for me. That's a recurring theme, it seems. Yes, lately. very much so. Right. It smells amazing. It, like, lime, garlic, onion, you can throw this in a roast. You could throw this in a roast along with, like, let's say some chicken uh, in a crock pot, right? Uh -huh. You just throw it in there, you drop some water or chicken broth, non-fat chicken broth, throw it in there, leave it alone for six hours, take it out, and it's delicious. Very cool. Probably even tastier than this. I do have a crock pot. Crock pots, crock pots are amazing. Yeah, I would agree. Especially when you're busy, because you can leave stuff in there all day. Exactly. And, it's it, and you come home, you get it ready. And it's healthy. And the same thing with this, it's just, you know, you can overcook one side and then cook the other, or, or just constantly flip over, however mm -hmm. much you guys want to do. Uh, I cook anywhere from three to five pounds of chicken at a time. I can eat three pounds of chicken in one day if I get rid of the That's hungry. That's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of chicken. But it has no carbs. It has very low fat. Because you don't want chicken legs, guys. You want uh, chicken tenderloin and chicken breast. That's what you want. You want to keep it around. Usually, if you get chicken breast or chicken tenderloin, it's about 2.5 grams of fat for four ounces, okay. and no saturated fat. So if I eat if I eat a pound of chicken, it's still only like 10 grams of fat and no saturated yeah. fat. So I'm doing okay. fine. Uh, usually about 100 to 130 calories per four ounces of chicken. So okay. not even that many calories. So yeah, no. when people are saying they're hungry because they're on a diet or whatever, that's just that's bad. I mean, they're not eating enough. They're, they're, they're not eating enough. Like, uh, I'll, I'll do a vegetarian uh, show sometime, but, but we're doing the meat eaters for this portion. And so. I'm a meat eater for sure. <laughs> right. It would not. take a lot to get me to not eat protein anymore, or meat for that matter. When I, um, what you want to do too sometimes, guys, is you'll start, you'll start cooking out your uh, spray and your sauce and some other stuff. You can lower the temperature down to around 310, 300 degrees instead of 350, and just throw some more of the teriyaki or whatever sauce you have back into the pan. Delicious. Tell me a little bit about why, because you know, I know, obviously I, have a, I don't eat a lot of fat in my diet, but yeah. what's the difference in, and why do you say it's so bad to eat saturated fat versus Saturated fat, your body just can't get rid of it like you can with the, uh, it's, it's not efficiently used by your body for energy. It, okay. just, it gets kind of stored away in your body. In my experience from, from my weight loss and helping other people lose weight, mm -hmm. when we would really reduce saturated fat and sugar and carbs, it just comes off so quickly. It's not even a matter of going to the gym every day. It's just the diet is the yeah. by far the biggest, biggest thing they can do. Now, when people start, like, let's say they start losing too much weight because uh -huh. of how we uh, took away carbs and stuff, we start adding healthy carbs, which are less processed uh, foods. We use brown rice, um, oatmeal. Oops. Yeah, oatmeal and brown rice are the, are the best. What's your feeling on quinoa? It's, a, it's totally fine. If you're trying to reduce weight, then no. But if you're just maintaining or, yeah. you, or you're losing just a little bit of weight, then yeah, it's totally fine. A lot of people are big fans of quinoa. I like yeah. Is that the correct pronunciation? Am I saying that wrong? I've always said quinoa, and that's always what I've heard, but it is one of those words. I that's how I've heard it pronounced. Yeah. Now, I'm not a quinoa fan, per se, so mm -hmm. we finally differentiate on, on yeah. some <laughs> there, but... Um, I like it a lot. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I remember taking someone to the grocery store, and they were like, yeah, we got to get quinoa. I'm like, you're totally good at quinoa. Yeah. So that, uh, 
Brown rice, you guys, you can either make it in a rice cooker, like a, a crock pot, or yeah. um, there's instant rice, which is okay. I, the only rice I really hate are the ones that come in the small cups, like brown rice, and you're supposed to yeah. put it in the microwave. It's, I don't know, it just tastes disgusting to me. How do you feel about the, um, they just started making, and I've actually bought a pack, I haven't tried it yet, a brown rice in the steam fresh uh, bags the other day. Have you seen that yet? I have not. You know, like the steam fresh vegetables they make? I will. That makes some, um, um, like Walmart has a brand. You just like put the bag in the microwave for five, six minutes, steam in the bag, fresh vegetables right out there. They make the rice like that now as well. I've had, um, I've had like healthy choice like that, <laughs> where they have the steamer. Is it similar concept, but it's literally in a bag. It's just like a bag of frozen vegetables, but it's made and you just steam it that way. Okay. In a microwave. You just put the bag in the microwave, six minutes. I'll, it I'll try it. How did it yes. taste? Well, I haven't tried the brown rice yet, but I'm addicted to the vegetables that way. It's so quick, so easy. There's no extra sodium, none of that in it. Wow. It's literally steamed fresh vegetables. So. I'm going to try that. Yeah. By the way, when I said healthy choice, guys, stay away from it. Stay away from healthy choice and lean cuisine in those microwave meals if you're trying to lose weight. Absolutely. If you're just hanging, it's okay. Like, it's not the worst thing ever. It's better than eating a Krispy Kreme donut, but it's not good for you. When I initially first started losing weight, I was taking, like, I was eating lean cuisine and stuff, and then I looked yeah. and I was like, it's so inefficient because of the sugar and the and the carbs and the complex carbs. So much there. sodium in it, too. Sodium. It's sky high in those. And I often tell people when, uh, we're changing their diet, I say, look, I don't look at calories, again, as much as I look at the sugar and the mm -hmm. saturated fat. Those are my two big Ah, okay. Calories are important, guys. If you're eating 5,000 calories a day, you might want to stop. That's but, a lot. but uh, the, again, the saturated fat and the sugar, that's what we're looking to minimize. Okay. Turn up the air in here since yeah, it's starting to get kind of hot. Yeah. Uh, anytime, guys, you want to see whether or not your chicken is done, do not undercook your chicken, or you can get salmonella and you'll be throwing up all day. It's not fun. No fun. I've poisoned myself before. Oh, have you? I have, and it was, I wanted to die. Yeah, I had a roommate, she got pretty bad food poisoning from chicken wings, and I've never seen anyone so sick in my life. It is no fun. Like, uh, literally about, yeah, about 16, about 16 hours on the floor. And I thought I was going to die. It was, yeah. it, was, it was the worst. So you just make sure. Guys, you want to look at the inside of the chicken, and you want to see if there's any pink. If you're even remotely suspicious that there is some pink there, you just set it back down in the pan. Exactly. Yeah, I think so. Electric skillets like this, guys, they'll generally um, they'll generally cook kind of evenly, but over time or whatever, um, they do tend, or depending on how the skillet is kind of tilted, it's going to cook a little unevenly on some of these pieces. And some of them just being thicker than, than others. That looks pretty good, but I'm just going to air on the side of caution here. We'll do, um, you down for some pancakes next? Absolutely. Okay. Pancakes are one of my favorite things. Good. And I'll feel more comfortable, like, letting you wield the, I'm not saying you awesome. can't wield the knife, okay, because I thought we might have, <laughs> okay, we're good? Okay. Yeah. No offense taken. Okay, perfect, perfect. Appreciate you being, I appreciate you being oh, a gentleman I'm, and looking off very sensitive. I'm very sensitive to the, the feelings, yeah, I, I don't want to offend you. Yeah. Absolutely not. I mean, I'm learning something here. It just smells amazing, so I like the limes and the onions in there. Yeah. yeah. And again, um, we could cook this fancier. We could make it prettier. But I want to show you guys just down and dirty, just lime, onion, garlic, chicken. These are your main staples. And you combine this with something like uh, black beans, which, um, which you can actually... Do you ever, are you a bean fan? I prefer refried beans to black beans. Okay. But, yeah, yeah I mean, I like them for sure. And that's a, something, that's a good point you brought up too. Uh, I didn't bring refried greens with me today, but they actually have pretty decent stats with them. Um, yeah, they a do. Lot of them. You can get completely fat-free ones as well. I always look for those in the grocery store when I'm picking those up. 
the fat mm -hmm. It's the yeah. Even though huh, I've I've done low fat, I've never seen that. I'm sure I want to say the brand I bought was like the Taco Bell brand as well. They have. <laughs> Speaking of which, brings up another point. I eat sometimes. Well, not at Taco Bell. I don't like Taco Bell. But if I have to, if I absolutely have to, a lot of fast food places, even Taco Bell, do have some stuff that's healthy. Sort of. Um, healthier. On the healthy healthier. Side. There if we go. A, if you need a quick fix. If you need out. a quick fix, yes. Well, they have, I've gotten a couple times, like when I was training for some of my pageants and stuff, and needed something on the road. Um, Taco Bell has those fresh, like, fresco. Like, bowls. Yeah, fresco bowls. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And then they've got the fresco tacos too, which like takes out the sour cream, I believe. Yes, and the, and the cheese. cheese. Most yeah. important is the cheese, and that's what I want to talk about here in a second. All right, so we're, I'm going to unplug this. Pour all that in there with it. Yeah, this is a little bit ambitious here. Oh, Fortunately, we have a we have a tablecloth, so. Need a fork. Yeah, 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 if you could. Okay. Spilt a little bit, but we... Oh. On the floor. There we go. That's okay. We get it all out? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, I'm going to drop this in the sink real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay. Spilt a little bit, but we... Oh. On the floor. There we go. That's okay. We get it all out? Yeah, yeah, we're good. Alright, I'm gonna drop this in the sink real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. So we're gonna make like fajitas with that chicken? Is that what we're gonna do? Yeah, we can do that next too. Or we can do pancakes and we can do I you know, I had in my head, I had the idea of okay, we can do chicken quesadilla, we can do teriyaki chicken, we can do pancakes, and I thought this is a lot of stuff, so I'll let you pick. Do you wanna do pancakes or chicken quesadilla? I'm curious where we're going with the pancakes. Okay. Basically, we're just gonna make we're gonna make pancake, and then I've got the sugar free syrup, the okay. sor sorbitol. A lot of people aren't allergic to sorbitol. The ingredient in the water that we both like, I believe, is aspartame. Yeah. Some people are allergic to aspartame. If you guys want to drink diet soda that does not have aspartame in it, drink a Pepsi Max. So I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. What's the sweetener they use? I don't remember. I, I probably should thing. know. Yeah, but but it's not. I, I know because uh, I had a roommate who was allergic to aspartame and no one drank uh, Pepsi Max. Very interesting. So what about um, like you were saying with the sugar-free syrup? I was actually going to ask you if you had tried any of the Walden's Farm products. I have, and a lot of them are. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of. Tastes a, lot of them. a little different, right? Which one do you like? So I'm a big fan of the pancake syrup and the chocolate syrup, but the key with both of them is, is to warm them up. Yes. And they taste completely different. They taste a lot better when you warm them my up. My mom, like when I introduced, a, a, I had my dad lose a bunch of weight and my mom would mix it with uh, almond milk and she, okay. would, and she would warm it up and then she's like, and she's much pickier than me too. Yeah. So she had to have it like warmed up and ice, but she said it tastes like way. It does, it better. tastes much better. The chocolate syrup, is amazing. I have found this. I'm a, I have a sweet tooth, a huge sweet tooth. So I had to find something that I could have that satisfied that that wasn't horrible for me. Yeah. So I found what's called Halo Top ice cream. Have you ever heard of that? No. So it's like a protein ice cream. It has seven grams of protein per half cup, and it's only like 70 calories for a half a cup of ice cream, and it legitimately tastes like a real vanilla bean ice cream. It's amazing. So I eat that, and then I'll put the Walden's Farm chocolate syrup on top. Yeah. And warm it up in the microwave, like 15 seconds, pour it on top. Okay. Awesome. I'm giving you your own cooking show now. You guys, <laughs> I'm retiring today. All right. She knows more than me about... We're learning a little something from one another. It's, yeah, we are. Hey, Halo Top? Mm -hmm. Like the game Halo? Yes, exactly. Halo Top Creamery. Okay. Now, they only have it at uh, Whole Foods. I haven't found it at Fresh Market or at Public Screen Live. I'll check my pockets real quick to make sure I have enough money. Yeah, yeah. well it is, it's five forty nine per pint. So it's a little on the price side. But I mean, it's the same as like buying Ben and Jerry's. Yeah. But it's the same price. True. So. Yeah, because regular ice cream, guys, you, you just can't do it. 
No. It's just oh, out of control. Well, you're talking about like 200, 300 calories for half a cup in a Ben and Jerry's, depending on which one you get. But the, yeah, but the fat and the sugar oh, numbers cool. are, are out of control. I won't even do skim milk because the all the sugar and the skim milk right. and just the body just doesn't seem to like dairy anyway. I've mm -hmm. switched over to almond milk if I have to have Me too, milk. and I actually love it now. I get the vanilla flavored. I can't do the plain. Yeah, it takes. I'm not a fan. There's also the protein plus. It's like 30 cal. It's it's kind of choppy. I've had that one. It's a, it's not so good. The vanilla flavor is definitely probably less yeah. tasty. Oh yeah, I get the unsweetened vanilla and it's still really good. Yeah. Oh, unsweetened. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And that range is usually I think like 30 to 45 calories a serving, depending on the brand. Yeah, it's the one I get is um, 30 calories per eight ounces. Very good. Okay, I'll be right back with that pen, and then we'll... Oh, I kind of made a mess here, but uh, it'll be okay. That's typically what happens when you cook. <laughs> Here, six to eight pancakes, one cup. Okay, three quarter cup of water. So now these are whole wheat pancakes. Yes. They might be. They're <laughs> either that or they're wheat blend pancakes. Wheat right? blends. Yeah. Wheat blends. Good enough. So I heard about a new brand of pancakes that I want to try called Kodiak cakes, mm -hmm. and apparently it has it's most it's protein packed. Still like a, I think it's, I want to say it's like 130 calories no per way. like a third cup dry mix. That's really good because normally protein packed. Yeah, because because normally when they say uh normally when they say protein packed. Yeah. It's packed with calories to like right. Two hundred and some exactly. calories per serving. So I want to try it out. I've seen it on a lot of like fitness blogs lately, and I heard they only sell them at Target though. So I gotta go get me some soon. All right, one cup, three quarter cup of water. Okay. Wanna do us the honors? Yeah, thing? I feel like you can handle this one. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you ripped the bag a little weird. I ripped now, it a little now weird. Now suddenly his fall my forward <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Alright, right, here we go. If you spill on the floor, it's okay. I, I have a I have a vacuum. And you a broom. Only, you, I was gonna say you want a vacuum and a broom, so that's good. Okay. And I'll do that portion after the <laughs> Okay, so we got a fourth cup mix. Is that what we're putting uh, in there? No, we'll go with a half. So oh, okay, so two of these. We're going to get a little ambitious. Actually, we might even do three quarter cup. Yeah, I'm feeling hungry. Let's, all right, let's, let's do, do three it. Quarters. Yeah, do we get to taste all this stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get two of those. So we're going to go three fourths. So we got three fourths a cup pancakes. How yeah. much water? Um. So for three fourths. Three quarter cup of water. Just a little bit less of water. Oh, so wait, do we need to do a cup of mix? Oh, we're saying oh, a little less. Than yeah, three did you put three quarter cup of pancake mix? Yes, we did three fourths. Okay, cups okay let's go. Cup. Let's go to the cup. cup. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm making it work kind of hard. Here. This is like, fun. Like you're digging a hole. I like to cook. Here's the great thing about this. I don't get to cook a ton of fun stuff at home because my schedule's so busy. So when people ask me all the time if I cook, and I'm like, I like to cook. I just don't always have time. So this is fun. So the chicken, good example of trying to save time, though, if you're if you're too busy to cook, yeah. is, was the chicken. That 
Frankenstein of a chicken dish we put together, which was just putting, throwing a bunch of chicken in there, throw limes, onion, garlic, you're done. Yeah, and that took us like eight minutes. Yeah, it doesn't take long, and then that, that'll feed you for at least a, a while. couple of days. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. What do we need? Uh, one cup need, of water. No, we need thir three fourths cup of water for oh, a couple three, of minutes. We don't have one of those, do we? So we'll do a half and then a quarter. Yeah, just stir it up as much as you want, guys. Uh, you don't have to stir it too much. And then drop it in the skillet. This will be interesting dropping out with a fork. Let's see how I do with that. I do have a spatula, but. Look with that. Can we spray the pan already? Yeah. Okay. Space that a little better and done another one, but uh, let this go. <laughs> the batter is definitely a little thicker, it seems like, than uh, like regular. Yeah, and sometimes I use almond milk. I'll put almond milk in there instead, or I'll put a. Uh, you can put instead a little of water? water in there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So, um, yeah, I'll add even the protein plus. I'll put protein plus almond milk in there to get a little more protein. Yeah. In my uh, main game. It's called Kodiak? Kodiak Cakes. Okay. So I've got Kodiak and Halo to research on. Yeah. yeah. Kodiak Cakes is at Target and Halo Creamery, uh, Top Creamery is at Whole Foods. Very good. Very good. When I go grocery shopping, I have to go to like three different stores because they're my favorite things and it seems like no store has all of them. So... It takes a lot. The Walden products are usually in the diabetic section at the mm -hmm. grocery store. So a lot of people, when I get them on the diet, they're like, guess what I found? I found like marshmallow something something in the yeah. Walden food. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. But just do it at your own risk. I'm telling you, it's like random, like how they're how the taste tastes. I cannot be held responsible for yeah. how it tastes. And it's a little pricier too. So if you don't like it, that kind of stinks. I tried the peanut butter spread. Awful. Mm -hmm. Don't recommend it. Speaking of peanut butter, although I can't really recommend it because it's kind of high on sugar, but if you absolutely have to have peanut butter, mm -hmm. powdered peanut butter from Whole Foods, they have PB2. I live for that. The chocolate's the, the best. Chocolate, yes. I put it in a lot of my protein shakes. Um, I also, like, sometimes, like, for if you have sweet tooth like I do, you find tricks. Um, strawberries, I love strawberries. Yeah. So I'll make the PB2 and, like, dip the strawberries in that. It's, like, really no calories. Oh God, like, 45 so calories for two tablespoons. Versus yeah. typical peanut butter being like 190 for two tablespoons. Yeah. So, it's good stuff. Great in protein shakes, too. Yeah, my problem with PB2 is I just, I want to eat the whole jar at a time. one time. And I usually do. And then it's like, it's like, uh, that was a little it's bit not so good for you Because anymore. I think it's around two grams of sugar a serving. Okay. So if you have sugar. If you have like 15 servings at a time, then you're at 30 grams of sugar. Then I'm yeah. kind of already at that threshold I don't like to be. But I mean, it is what it is. Like if, if you're at where you want to be, then you're, mm -hmm. you're fine. But like, I'm like trying to always walk kind of that thin line. Yeah. Like 30 grams of sugar, I'm kind of on the fence. But that's just me because guys, I eat too much at once. That's why I eat massive amounts of chicken. Yeah. For me, I do the, because I love food as well, so I like to, um, ooh, we make some fluffy pancakes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man. Why did, I, I don't know What's why. What's wrong with you and this flipping? <laughs> I should have flipped. I should have flipped. Okay. Look at yeah, this mess. Fix it. Fix it, please. <laughs> what are we doing here? All right, let's see if we can semi-fix this up a little bit. 
that's that's pretty good fix job. Before I have to show the audience what the butchered pancakes look like now. Yeah. We'll, From me. We'll make them look a little bit more normal now. Now the nice thing about the pancakes too, guys, you don't have to like cut them open and see if they're pink inside in the middle and whether or not they'll <laughs> kill you like pancakes. If you undercook them, you'll still be fine. They're okay. They'll just taste like a little different. It'll taste kind of doughy, which I like. I don't yeah. I like mine a little on the softer. I'm a, doughy, I'm a doughy person, too. So. Everything except for quinoa so far. I think, uh, we agree on. We agree on. What's your opinion of uh, artificial sweeteners? No fun. You're okay with those? Yes. I get upset when I see somebody who has a name that people follow, like, Dr. Phil or somebody, and they're like, yeah. they, they do their, like, 10th special of the year on, like, how some artificial sweetener gave somebody cancer, or it's just as bad for you. It is not just as bad for you. Like, regular sugar and heart disease and diabetes and stuff, that's real stuff that's going to kill you. I have Absolutely. no problem with artificial sweeteners. I just say that uh, one thing you do want to steer clear of, though, guys, is don't, don't drink, like, it's really easy if you eat or drink a lot, I can drink a two liter diet soda uh -huh. like in one sitting if yeah. I'm not careful. And you don't want to do that because the effects of artificial sweetener, there have been some studies that may or may not be valid, but I do feel bloated if I do it. Yeah. Is if you take too much in at a time, the body can kind of think that that actually is. Um, I think these are done. Okay. Or should we put these in there? Let's put these in here. Okay. As you guys can see, this is a good looking pancake. Not right? too bad, not too not bad. Not too bad, she cleaned it up. I destroyed the pancakes inside this building. Okay. Yeah, we might as well. It won't take long to cook. Another great thing about pancakes, like throw the mix in, put it on the skillet, it's done in five minutes. Yeah, and I get that, and, and then I get the sweet tooth for the, uh, you know, the sugar-free syrup. Regular syrup, if you're eating regular syrup right now, just stop. You can't have, regular syrup just has way too many calories and sugars, guys. Yeah, it does. It'll, it'll destroy your body. If you are taking regular syrup right now, that's good, because if you stop, you're going to see a drastic change, uh, drastic change. How many grams of sugar do you try to stay under a day? Um, in general, I just try to avoid as much sugar as I can. I, okay. I go more by like at a sitting. So at a sitting, mm -hmm. I try not to have more than 16 grams of fat, preferably closer to 8 to 10 grams of fat. If it's healthy fat, I can uh -huh. go up to 20 grams or so, but I never want to go above 30. Okay. Um, yeah, but, but sugar uh, and carbs in general, I want to stay below... 25 or 30 grams of carbs unless especially in the evening in the afternoon For sitting, you mean? yeah in the in the i'd say that the more i'm okay with how my current weight is the more i don't care as much about mm -hmm. carbs sugar i always do care about and i want to keep them relatively low i yeah. always avoid skim milk stuff like that um if i need more carbs or if, if it's in the morning afternoon or after i lift weights um, more carbs is fine. So brown, yeah. brown rice, stuff like that, that's great. Because your body needs that for muscle and fuel. Right. Um, Especially after a workout. Yeah. That's when your body will digest the carbs the easiest as well. Yeah, you can actually have white rice after you work out instead mm -hmm. of brown rice if you want. You can take some fast for absorbing carbohydrates. And, yeah. Let's see if that side's done yet. Alright, this is on me if I screw up the flip this time, right? It's pretty good. You're flip. too good. I think you've cooked more pancakes than me. <laughs> Maybe I have. I like a lot of, um, I've researched a ton of like protein pancake recipes online. And I have a waffle maker, so I make a lot of like protein oh, waffles. Rub it in some more. Yeah, I love my waffle maker. My aunt gave it to me for Christmas a couple of years ago, and I was like, I'm never going to use this. But actually, I use it all the time, and it also has the grilled cheese plates. Is, so, that, the, is that the whole Hogan one that has like four things? No? Uh, no, mine is just like two, so you can make two sandwiches at a time. Okay. Or two waffles at a time. Okay. It's pretty awesome. And the grilled cheese one like cuts it in half or you even inside the grill. It's pretty awesome. I used to 
used to do the foreman grill. I have one of those too. But it, it takes too long to, to cook for me. Really? Yeah. I, I have the miniature one. It's like this big. Mm -hmm. And I cook all my lean ground beef on it because I buy like the patties that are already made at Trader Joe's. The S speaking of which, the difference in lean beef between 96, 92, 85. Huge. Huge difference. Huge. Right? It's ridiculous, guys. If you're eating regular ground beef, Stop. Don't. Stop. You need to get the really, pay the extra money for the extra lean beef. Yeah. That's, that's. And that's honestly, it's not even that much more expensive if you know where to get it. I wouldn't advise going to Publix for it because it's pretty expensive there. Yeah. But if you go to um, Trader Joe's, you have one in your city. I know they're not everywhere yet, but they, um, 97 fat, no, 97 fat free, 97 percent fat free. That's better than I see. Five, five thirty nine for four beef patties already made for you. Four ounces each is 130 calories per patty. That's really good. Amazing, I live for them. Wow. And then cheese, do you, do you put cheese on it? So I buy the Kraft singles, uh, Kraft cheddar cheese fat free, yeah. similar to that, except in oh, the slices. Good. They're 25 calories per slice. Oh. And I will put those on it sometimes. Um, or I buy the reduced sugar ketchup which is only um, 10 calories per two tablespoons. Sure. So I'll use that and just measure it out. I mean, measuring is everything. You just gotta have portion control on pretty much anything you eat as well. So I'll do that, have it with some veggies. I also just came up with a trick. Um, I'm a big mac and cheese fan. <laughs> and so I decided I wanted to make like a healthy mac and cheese. Yep. Or if you ever had like Hamburger Helper, I lived on Hamburger Helper in college because it was cheap and it was easy. But um, now that I try to be healthier, I realize you can buy the, um, they're like vegetarian noodles and it's uh, shirataki noodles they're called. 15 calories for uh, about, I want to say it's 4 ounces, I think there's 8 ounces in that, and maybe it's more than that. Um, so I think it was 128 grams for half of the pack is 15 calories. And I put the cheddar cheese slices on those, a little bit of almond milk in there, a yeah. little bit of can't believe it's not butter, stir it all up, the cheese melts, um, crush up my ground beef, put it in there, and easy mac and cheese in like five minutes. How much I can't believe it's not butter, because that, that's the only There's no calories in there. Uh, in the spray one. Oh, in the spray, okay. There's no, in the, no, I think it is in the tub one. You may be right yeah, I've, I've one. checked the tubs multiple times. Yeah. I wander through the grocery store and I'm like, today's going to be the day I find butter that I can that I can have. Yeah. No, if you buy the spray one, which I just take the spray top off and pour a little bit in there, mm -hmm. and it's no calories in it. Very it's literally good. in like a little spray It's like my sand spray. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it is. And actually, when I'm out of Pam, I'll use the Can't Believe It's Not Butter. I'm like, oh, I'm out of Pam. I'll just use that spray on the yeah. pans too. So, Interesting. Yeah. I think these are done. All right, let's. Get those out of there. Okay. All right, and I have the sugar-free syrup. Now, some sugar-free syrup is like 35 calories a serving, and some of it, like this one, is 20 calories a serving. So That's I always really check that. Sugar alcohol is usually going to be high. Uh, it's all. X is a diuretic, so you might be visiting the bathroom a few more times than off. Like, not crazy, okay? This isn't like beans and fiber and stuff, but sorbitol. Uh, even aspartame to an extent can, which can be a good thing if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I know that's not the most appetizing thing to say yeah. after we cook pancakes, but how do you like how do you like your pancakes? What do you mean? Like lots of syrup. Oh yeah, I love syrup. That's why Walden's Farm is good for me because it's no <laughs> calories in it. You know? There we go, pancakes quick. We're gonna taste these. Yeah. Let's yeah. see what we got. That fork is yours. Okay. Moment of truth. Five stars. Three and a half. Five stars. Okay. I like it. Oh. The syrup's really good. It tastes like, literally guys, it tastes like regular syrup. Yeah, it, and, and any discrepancy you have in, in like sugar, yes. even diet soda, in my opinion, you'll get over it within a couple of weeks, but syrup, Takes, it takes even less getting used to. Like sugar-free syrup, honestly, I see no reason to ever go back to regular. Yeah. Ever go back to regular syrup. All right. Um, I agree. It's the same. Do 
want, you can try some of the chicken. Some of the chicken. Want. Yeah, let's try this. This looks amazing. So now, do you eat the onions and stuff too? Uh, yeah, if you want, but you don't have to. Now, the stuff toward the bottom is, sometimes what I'll do is I'll transfer it over into another uh, small container. And that'll, uh, because all the sauce and stuff, the marinade is kind of toward the bottom. Oh, yeah. Now, if you guys want to make this taste better, too, what you can do is take the teriyaki and take the chicken before you cook it and put it in a plastic freezer bag and let it sit in your fridge for like 30 minutes or even let it or even let it sit overnight and then cook the chicken, it'll taste, it, it'll just be, it's marinated, so it'll just taste better. Taste the onions. They look really yummy. Mmm. Good? The Good. lime on the onions is yeah. amazing. It gives it so much flavor. Yeah, the, the lime, and that's why, like that. it, in like, especially in pot roast, it's mm -hmm. amazing when you just put chicken broth, lime, um, uh, onions, uh, you can throw um, small tomatoes, what are they called? Grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes? Grape tomatoes, yes. Yeah, throw those in the crock pot along with um, like black beans, chicken broth, chicken, mm -hmm. lime. Uh, oh my god, it's so good. It's really good. I eat grape tomatoes every day actually in my egg whites. Okay. Spinach and grape tomatoes. And egg whites. I used to drink egg whites from the carton because I'd be too lazy to cook them. Oh, <laughs> you're on another level than me. You're on another level than me. I can't do that. That's amazing. Both are really good. Good deal. I like it. And healthy. All right. I'm just going to describe the chicken. We could cook chicken quesadilla. We really want to try it, but it's going to be, I don't know. I don't want to. We can do it. We want to do it. Okay. You ready? All right. Let's try it. This is going to take, this is going to take a little finesse. We need to use that pan? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not the bag, oh, it's, it's just, just like dried up here. It's not like, yeah, that's cool. We're good to go. Nothing from the bottom of it anyway. Alright, so basically, we'll take a low carb tortilla there. Okay. You can get low carb tortillas from anywhere, and you can get fat free cheese from pretty much anywhere. It yeah. used to be for the longest time, I could not get this fat free cheese from Walmart, and I would have to make a separate trip to Publix, and I'd be so mad. And, like. Walmart, blah, blah, blah. And I couldn't find that the other day either, but I do think they were out at Walmart. They finally, like, I think a couple of years ago, they started carrying fat free cheese at Walmart and uh, saved, some, saved my life. So basically... So, oh, wow, only 81 calories for yeah. one tortilla. That's really good. Normally, guys, if, you try, if you're hardcore trying to lose weight, like, in hardcore mode, don't, don't even, don't mess with the tortillas. But if you're in, like, losing weight mode, but... It's not like boot camp, then this is totally, this is totally yeah. fine. Okay, I'm gonna spray the pan. So what we'll do is, we're gonna put the chicken and the cheese like inside the tortilla and, and kind of fold it over. Okay, so we put the tortilla in there first or chicken in here first? Uh, let's just throw the tortilla on there and then we'll kind of do a quick. Okay. Deal. So we're gonna use this chicken? Yeah. Should we cut it up a little bit? Exactly, yeah, okay. cut it up a little bit if you can. And you can do this uh, with a foreman type grill too. It works even better with the quesadilla. Or in a toaster oven. Yeah? Yeah, I do mine in a toaster oven. Okay. Yeah. You can put the salsa in either before or after. Some of you guys might not like salsa in your quesadilla. I do. Me too. You like spicy or mild? I love spicy. Okay, good. So we have spicy salsa. So Yay. we'll put that in there. Okay, so. Put on the same side as the cheese, right? Yeah. Is that enough chicken or we want to put a little bit more? Uh, that's enough. Okay. That's cool. And then we'll put a little bit of salsa in here. I've never cooked it inside of it like that. I always put it on top, but that's a good idea. Yeah, I'm a I'm a salsa person. You don't want to go too crazy on salsa, guys, because it does have some sugar and stuff in it, but it's not usually too significant. This is 10 calories for two tablespoons. Um, Trader Joe's has a great one. I use um, garlic chipotle salsa that's spicy. That's uh, two tablespoons for five calories. So. Oh, and 
something else here that I do sometimes is uh, I take Greek yogurt and you can substitute sour cream for Greek yogurt and it actually will give you kind of a similar taste. Does it? I've always heard that but I've never tried yeah. it and I've wondered if the taste was similar. And I do it with uh, turkey to Jenny O turkey. Yes. Jenny O, she used, I don't know if it, I didn't look in the grocery store today if it was the same, but the 85% lean, they post the stats on the back of the packaging, mm -hmm. and the 99% lean are posted on the front of the packaging, yes. so you can't like right away discern the difference between, well it's not 85, I think it might have been 93, I don't there remember. Is, I think you're right. It's a lower end, like 90 something. Yeah, you're right, and low. there's a big difference. And there's a huge difference, because they have a 99% lean turkey, and you look at the stats, I think it's eight and a half grams of fat for the lower 90s mm -hmm. per four ounces. So if you have a pound of it, which I would, because I just eat, it's like, oh, I'm over 30 grams of fat already. Right. Um, whereas the other one, I'm at like six grams of fat, like five to six grams of fat. Yeah. I'm with you on that. All right. These don't take long at all. Just kind of press down on it, flip it over. Now, does this pan make the shell a little bit crunchy? Um, yeah, it can. Oh. So do you put the beans in it sometimes as well? Uh, yeah, you can either put the beans in it or I put the beans to the side. I just eat lots of beans in general. And I do not have refried beans. Refried beans definitely would be better. And I've had it with refried beans before. I don't know why they, I didn't think to pick some up. Yeah, they're really yeah. good. These, uh, those bush black beans, they make them in low sodium as well. You can have regular or low sodium black uh -huh. beans. Uh, big fan of, big fan of them. I used to do ranch beans, but they're not very good. They're not very good for you. Ranch beans? Mm -hmm. I never heard of that. You literally put ranch in the beans? No, it's just a brand. Ranch oh. beans. Ranch black beans. Oh, okay. Okay, but I, I like bush a little bit better. All right, let's see. You don't want to, uh, okay, this is done. Um, That's your plate. Yeah. It works. That'll work. <laughs> Beautiful chicken quesadilla here. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. And is this my fork? Or do this? Yeah, mine's right here. You can do some Greek, Greek plain yogurt. Uh, Chobani offers it in like smaller, smaller quantities. So I just picked up some Chobani. It doesn't have to be Chobani. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. I gotta try a little bit with the yogurt on there because I've never had this, so I'm curious. It's okay. I think I actually like the Greek plain fat yogurt a little better than the Chobani. The what? You know, this is the same thing. They have one that's just Greek uh, plain yogurt at Walmart. I like it a little better than the Chobani. I am surprised at how similar though I'm not a taste of sour cream. Mm -hmm. I would have never thought. Hmm. We'll have to try that. I, I agree with you though. It's funny you say that because the other day I bought, I always buy it in the bigger cartons and um I bought the great value, like Walmart brand, and then this one the other day, and I do notice the difference. I think these are a little more tart yeah. than the Walmart brand. This one's a little overpowered. It overpowers yeah. the case of you a little bit. I agree with you on that. I just noticed that, like, eating them plain the other day. I need some hot water. You can make these uh, quesadillas, though, with tons of ways. Like, I was craving pizza, and I did mine with... Uh, so same concept, but with cheese and turkey pepperoni. That's great. And like a little bit of uh, pizza sauce or like marinara sauce inside. Yeah. It's like a calzone. That's good for you. When I get the pizza craving, I do the Lean Cuisine pizza. Okay. And I know it's not good for me, but it's like, it's not that horrible, I don't think. You should try making this one though with the, with the turkey pepperoni. Pretty good. Pizza sauce, turkey pepper, honey, I'll mozzarella, fat cream mozzarella. I'll try it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's pretty good. I always do mine in the toaster oven. I never even thought about like doing it on a pan. 
And it, you can make the, that's what I was asking about the crunchiness of the shell, because you can make the shell a little crunchier. Like, I spray the can't believe it's not butter on there. Yeah. And when I toast it, it crunches it up a little bit. It's like, oops. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Listen, thanks for helping us cook today. Yeah, you're welcome. I had a good time. I learned some new stuff. Yeah, I learned some stuff. Halo and uh, Kodiak. Halo yeah, ice cream okay. and... And what's the code? I just Kodiak keep thinking of bears. Okay. I know. Kodiak cakes at Target. The pancake brand. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you want to get the protein ones because I know there's like a couple different types that they have. So they have the protein ones. Cool. Yes. Good stuff. All right. Um, I'm going to play some League here in a little bit. Do you Have you ever heard of this game? No. I know you were telling me about it the other yeah. day. I have no idea like really what that is. It's a silly game. Do you want to pull up a chair? I yeah, sure. I'll check it out. 